Y'all, so this week, um, God has ministered a whole lot to me on his presence. And I want to share on this because not just this week, but like, I feel like this, this whole month of October, which is odd because it's like the Halloween month, right? And a lot of people um, say that in the spiritual realm, it's like, there's a whole lot more going on, you know, and like, even like witch activity and all that, which is crazy to me. But in our home, at least for us, it's been a lot of God's presence, man. And this week, I seen it just like heavy. And I want to share on two like just major things that happened. Um, I'm going to share one on this one. And then I'll just make a whole separate video for the other one. Because I think it's so important that that like we share on these things. Y'all, if God is moving in your life, like please don't stay silent. Put it out there. You know, God, God will speak um, through you. He'll put the words in your mouth. You know, if you're like afraid, don't be afraid because you know what? We need all the goodness of God out there. La mies es mucho los sobre los pocos. If you know, you know, right? So anyways, y'all, so this week, um, going back to this, it felt like it started um on Sunday service. And I think that's why I even came on here, which was odd. And I'm going to start doing it like every Sunday, like going on here and saying, hey, get to church, get to church. Because this Sunday I got to church, y'all, and um, it just felt something different. Like we're just like worship, like praise and I like felt like the touch of the spirit, right? And like, if you know, you know, I'm not going to get more into details because then people have like their own idea and opinion about this. But y'all, um, I started just like just communicating with God, right? In your own special way. And um, I I felt like that's like, I felt like an anointing. And like the like days previous to that, I, I would hear that a lot, like anointing, anointing. And then like that Sunday, I felt felt it and then this week i seen why i seen why god was bringing this like fresh new anointing and it was really just time for something new and it was like already set to happen i just hadn't taken the step type of thing and um y'all i was blessed at my at my job and i was given the opportunity to um i was actually asked to to take care of this one new project that you know we're doing and that i you know suggested and they were like you know what it's such a good idea we're gonna do it with the whole school and i was like what they're like Can you have this program ready in like two days and i was so busy like it wasn't entirely like like what i'm gonna be working with my own school and my own program but it was some of it i guess i'm sharing all this to you know to say that god is involved in all of these things things that you worry about on a daily maybe projects that you have like for yourself like this one that i'm you know needing more money to get more things done you know so you know the fact that it all just worked out in in my favor right that yeah like i'm working hard at work but you know at the same time it's gonna help me you know move forward with my own plans because now i'm gonna have a little more income to be able to do that so what i'm trying to say is like god gives us that ability to do things and you know, I was just amazed because, y'all, I was so literally so busy from the day before. Like, all day yesterday, I had this whole assembly, right? Getting ready for this whole assembly, like, this whole month. And then once the parents left, it was like, I got right into putting this whole program together. Like, in two days, y'all. The night before, and then that day, like, that whole rest of the day. So, yesterday was just, like, just... And then I had a meeting at the end of the day, like, with the rest of the teachers... And it's even a blessing to them, like in the, in the sense that um, I was like, have you have you guys ever like phonics? And they were like, no, never. I was like, I'm gonna teach y'all how to teach the phonics. Not only so we can work it here with the kids, but so y'all like y'all can take that with you, like as a teacher, because you know what? It's kind of just like returning the favor. When I first got deported, um, one of the coordinadores de inglés, I'll never forget him because I was so young and. All I had was just the, the language, but I didn't know how to teach it. And this guy was like, listen, you know, this is the book that, you know, que maneja la escuela, and this is how you teach English in Mexico. It's nothing like the American one. I know, I know. I went to the high school out there. He was like, I know it's different, but look, this was going to make you money, and this is how you teach it. And now that I'm like an old school teacher, it takes me back to my younger years, like when I was a young teacher like them. We're like, man, I ain't ever seen this before. And I was like, listen, you know, just use it, man. You're gonna make some money off of this. And that same method that, you know, I've been working on for years, cause 
It wasn't just like a little, oh, I just have this idea. I downloaded something. Like, I downloaded something offline and, you know, we should make work like this. Nah, man, this is like, I took like years and like months of just like writing my own book, right? And that, I am going to put that to sell. That one for sure. Like, I'm still working on it. Going back to this, like, I didn't give them the whole, you know, program that for myself, but I gave them some of it just so they could, you know, like get it, you know, like working, like going, you know. It was just a good day in the sense that we're all blessed and we're all happy with it. And um, it's like a plan now. Yo, todo esto que te cuento se hace lo debo a él, a él porque uno es un simple mortal, la neta que, o sea, sin él no somos nada, ¿me entiendes?